Hi, my name is Willie, and in this video, we're going to investigate the carburetor on this engine. Let me start it up and warm up, and I'll show you what the symptom is, okay? So, hang on. That's the problem. That's an issue that plagues these opposed twin engines. Now, I can adjust the low speed, but then it runs rough at low speed, and it still has that lag, that throttle lag. So what I'm going to do with this is pull the carburetor in half, not, I'm not going to take it off the intake manifold. I'm just going to take the air filter off and undo the choke cable, undo the four screws on the top of the carburetor and pull the carburetor off. Adjust, adjust the float level and we'll see if we can't fix this thing. And in case you're wondering, it is a little warm. It's not super hot, but it still has a throttle lag no matter what you do. And this is going to be used for plowing. So I want to fix that up and I know it's a mess. It's, a, it's not a garage if it's not a mess. <laughs> Okay, so let me get that apart and I'll turn you guys back on. Hang on. Okay, I got my carburetor off. As you can see, it's sitting a little bit low. Uh, the two surfaces between the float and the carburetor are not parallel. So I'm going to adjust the tang on that float to get more fuel into the float bowl. I'll make that adjustment and I'll bring it up. Okay, hang on. Okay, we're a little bit opposite end of parallel now. So that will increase our float level. And one thing I have a problem with is the gasket in there tore a little bit. So I can't stick that back on because it's torn up. But I got spare parts. I have this is a gasket that will fit this carburetor, however, it's a used gasket. And I have one here, it looks almost exactly the same. Just a different cutout in the center. So I think I'm just going to cut the hole out a little bit bigger in this one. Overlap them and, and uh, put a pen marker on there and I can use this gasket. Oh, oh! I dropped it on the floor. It's the end of the world. No, I reuse it. So Let me get that fixed. And we'll put it back on that carburetor and put it back in the tractor. I'm going to say that's a success. gasket on there. Cut to work. And adjust the float level. And we'll see if we get any better luck. I can always go a little bit higher, but I really don't want to. Let's stick it on there and see what happens. Well, I was cranking on it for a little bit and I realized I forgot to turn the fuel on. So I got the battery charger on here and we'll give it another shot. I think it's a little bit better. Now it's warmed up, it doesn't want to crank. Oh, my kingdom for a bigger charger. Oh well. Can't wait for it to charge a bit. So cold. Let's see if it'll start.
running rich. I didn't turn the screw at all on the carburetor, so I didn't think I would change much. better so I could probably adjust the float level a little bit further but uh, like it, like I said it's still it's still it's hot now but it's not hot hot so I imagine once it warms up it'll be better but nowhere near as bad as it was even when it was warmed up before it was still gonna be problems so let me run a little bit while longer and get it all warmed up and happy and we'll see how it behaves once it's warmed up I know it takes a good six or seven minutes for these to warm up okay I'll turn it back on when I get that to that point. Still have some throttle lag. So I'm going to adjust this a little bit further. I'm going to pull that float pin out and take the float off and bend that tab a little bit more. Okay. Let's see what we get this time around. Still a gap. Okay, I just want to show this thing's cold. It's about 50 degrees in here. I'm going to turn the choke on. See what she does. definitely better than it was. I can actually keep it running now before it would just stall whenever it was cold. So, hope you find this interesting. Now, this carburetor is a clean carburetor, so I wouldn't go messing with the float level until you know that's a possible issue. And even then, you may start messing with float levels, you could probably have leaks. This carburetor's got a rebuild kit in it, so I had extra gaskets lying around. So hope that was helpful. In other news, for those of you that might still be watching, had someone ask me in person one time about whether or not the thumbs up helped me or not. And uh, they don't particularly help me, myself, but 
the more you give a video a thumbs up, the more likely it is to be suggested to the next guy. So it spreads the word. And on the tail of this video, I'm going to add all the little clips I got the Jacktown show. So, hope you enjoy, and thanks for watching, and have a good day.